Good morning, and welcome to the uh, 8th Q, Week 7, in-home training video. This is for Diego Rodriguez, Camillo Montoya, and Brandon Stokert. Good morning to all of you. Now, what we're going to do today is continue our discussion of the uh, 8th Q test, combining some of the combinations. We're going to begin out of our normal Zakitsudachi gate on Barai. Your right foot should be back. I'm going to switch stances so that I am now in a mirrored position of you. Your right foot should be forward. Your left foot should be back. Your hand should be up. Front two knuckles should be pushing. You should not have one hand out front and one hand in the back. One hand should be directly on top of the other. So out of your frontal stance, I want you to step forward with a Chudon block. From here, throw a front snap kick to the belt. Step forward and punch with your right hand to the chest. After that, I'm going to back up because I'm running out of space. I just threw my punch, leave my punching hand out. Step forward, block, kick, punch. I got to step back, so forgive me. Step forward, block with your right hand, kick, punch. Now what I want you to do, depending on how much space you have, do as many steps forward as you're able. Block, kick, punch, block, kick, punch, and then I want you to back up. And now I want you to switch sides. And this time, do it on the opposite side. Block, kick, punch, block, kick, punch. Have whatever space you have. Start with your right foot backwards. Step forward, block with your right hand, kick with your left leg, punch with your left hand, keeping your left hand out. Then I want you to back up and switch sides. Step forward, block with your left hand, kick with your right foot, punch with your right hand, do as many of those forward as you're able, and then back up and start all over again. Every time you start over, switch from the right side to the left side, and so forth. Try to do this for about 10 minutes. Okay, back and forth, block, block sorry, block, kick, punch, block, kick, punch, block, kick, punch, work one side, then the other. The next thing we're going to talk about this morning is the terminology section of your 8th Q test. I'm going to ask the meaning of the word. I will pause for five or six seconds. Please try to answer the question at home, and then I will provide you with the answer. Here we go. Good luck to each of you. What does go mean? Go means five or hard. What does Jew mean? Jew means soft or tin. What does Goju mean? Goju is the way of the hard and soft. What does Ray mean? Ray means bow. What does sensei mean? Sensei means teacher. What is a kata? A kata is a series of prearranged movements. What does karate mean or karate? What does karate mean? Karate, or karate, is actually two words put together. Kara means empty, and te means hand. So literally translated, karate means empty hand. What does uki mean? This is the hardest part of the test, guys, so listen to the pronunciation. What does uki mean? Uki is a block. What does zuki 
mean Zuki. Zuki is a punch. What does Dachi mean? Dachi is a stance. And what does Yaka mean? Yaka. Yaka means reverse. Okay, guys, so that's, that's it for today. Remember, we're practicing block, kick, punch, back and forth, then change sides, block, kick, punch. Review these terminology words and make sure you know, the, know their definitions. In the meantime, I hope to see each of you at the, at the Zoom classes, Tuesdays and Thursday nights, 6.30 to 8, and I hope you're well. Stay safe.